Well, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM22's The Hall of Famer. Last episode is linked above, my friends. Feel free to go and check that one out and get caught up before this one. But we are moving along with a big quarterfinal. So since last episode, we've actually just played a double header against Leeds. Uh, the first one is in the quarterfinals of the Cup. Um, we rotated the team ever so slightly, but we came out 1-0 winners. Sabanda with the only goal of the game. He sees us through to the semi-final where we've got Manchester City. Um, I'm probably not going to bring you that semi-final. I might just play it and hope for the best because I'm trying to just condense this season down. And... Um, I I don't know. I've got a good feeling about PSG today. I don't know why. Obviously, we've still got the games to play, but just got a good feeling about it. 4-0 uh, then in the Premier League against Leeds. Uh, Diabate, uh, Kabamba, and a uh, cloud uh, Jean-Claude Amusen Brace. Um, two goals in four minutos for him. Uh, very good stuff. Um, goals have kind of dried up elsewhere, but he's still scoring absolute buckets. We're going to be playing Paris in Japan. Uh, over two legs today. We've got Manu in sandwich in the middle, but we're not going to be bothering bringing that game to you. Um, the league table looks like this. 31 played, 82 points. Um, yeah, I don't think we're being caught now. Um, very, very much in the ascendancy in the Premier League and uh, flying, basically. 21 goals for Makoko, I thought was excellent. And then I see Miralas is catching him up on 18. Sabanda's got 15 assists for the season. Yeah, it's kind of mad. 16 of clean sheet. Uh, but if we're looking at the goals, Milsen's got 17 uh, there as well. So, like, we don't even play with a two-striker system, and yet he's got more goals than uh, most of the league, which is pretty insane. But anyway, let's crack on with this quarter-final against Paris Saint-Germain. And the first leg is away from home. So we're going to go with Gomez in goal, uh, Reicher and fullback, uh, Cruz at fullback. We're going to go Kappa Alfonso at centre-back. Rice and Overlay in the midfield, Sabanda and Wright on the wings, Yaya through the middle, and Makoko up top. So here we go, my friends. It is leg one in quarter-final Champions League. Um, their team is so good. You will have seen they've got... Um, Doku and Haaland up front. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a concern, isn't it? It's a very good Palace and Japan team, and uh, we're going to be have to be at our very best, um, you know, to 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 stay in this one. The away leg is probably going to be the more difficult leg. If we can get through this one relatively unscathed, then we might be all right in the, the home leg. But uh, early doors, you're going to see it. Yaya driving forward, still going. Excellent run. Oh, it's a good shot, and I think the keeper ended up getting a hand on it. It's going to be a corner to us it was an excellent run from him ball comes in nothing's going to come of this because rarely does it and uh as you can see we're just going to pop this about and it's going to come to nothing but um it's been a good run to this point we obviously went out last year of the champions league at this stage in an absolute thriller a tie for the ages if you are new around here and you've just really recently started catching this series go back and watch the champions league quarterfinal from last year it's uh i still am speechless about it as we've had the ball nicked in the midfield and doku is gonna run through and it's an excellent save from andre gomez in the end um that was very good stuff we've got doku though with his corner coming in it's headed out it's very good stuff and we're going to run, get it. But it is all Paris Saint-Germain at the moment. Um, good header from us defensively. Right, though. Can't go anywhere. It's into Novalay. It's a ball over the top. And it's kind of a bit of a panicky clearance in the end. Ball through. It's into Haaland. I can't see him missing. He doesn't miss. It's his 29th for the season. And it's not good. It's a poor start. And that was all from just relinquishing the ball and giving it back in very, very lazy fashion. Um, that's that's just poor. That is just poor. That Isaac, I believe, was at Manchester City for a bit, wasn't he? Pretty sure I remember him being there. But uh, this is a good team as we attempt to win the ball back here. It's good passing. It's good football. He's running at us. It's Haaland again. It's a neat one too. It's back to Haaland. Uh, back into Kolozowski now. 
That's good uh, defending, though, in the end. And it's just, again, what are we doing? Why are we panicking? We do not play football like this. Usually, we pass that ball around really nicely, and we've given the ball away twice just from clearances. And if they score, it's going to... It's going to be two goals from us hopelessly clearing the ball up the field. It's unforgivable, that. Such a poor start. Such a poor start. Two easy goals for Haaland to score. He makes it 2-0, and we're not even at the half-hour mark. Have we finally met our match? I am looking at their team and thinking that is no joke, though. I'm pretty sure I looked at Schmidt, Hakimi. Oh, it's a good team. And they're dominating this game. and They're very much dominating this fixture. Um, we need a goal, really. We need to try and get back in this one. Um, Alfonso, Kappa, into Rice, Novale. It's good football. Really good football. Makoko, and it's a good save. He needs to be putting that away. He needs to be putting that in the back of the net. Oh, I'll be honest, I'm a bit shell-shocked at how one-sided the game's been, if I'm really honest with you, gang. Because they're on the attack again. And that's a ball over the top. And what is Gomez doing? Apologies for the silence, but I don't know what to make of this. I can't help but feel like we're going to have a bit of a curse in the Champions League. Oh my God, that was nearly another 4-0 and it's definitely game over. I would actually argue as far as tie over potentially, especially with how dominant they've been in this game. Jeez, this has been so bad. Corner coming. It's 4-0. I'm left with no choice. I'm, I'm literally left with no choice but to go attacking and literally throw everything at it, open ourselves up to conceding more goals. But this is, excuse my language, but this is fucking shit. We've cruised through this season and I, I've been pretty confident going into all games and there's not been a game where we have been on the end of a hiding this year. Um... I can't ever remember that time us being on a hiding where we were four nil down since I've joined West Ham, but here we are. I'm four nil down. Just need something to happen. I need something to happen. I need a goal. I need a way back into this one. Give us a chance, at least, in the home leg. And that's going to be Sabanda. Oh, it's a good save. We've had two opportunities, both been saved. Like two that we've seen, you know, guilt edge opportunities, and the keepers stood strong. Donnarama, God, no wonder. I forgot they had him. <laughs> ah. Oh, I feel very hard done by at the moment. I don't know what to do. I'm going to bring Quartes on. Um, yeah. See what he can do as a, an attacking midfielder. It's going to be a throw-in. 
Cruz into Quartes. We've still got it. Oh, get in there, Makoko. Oh, you've given us a lifeline, you beautiful man. You really have. It's a good finish. Really good finish, but here we go. Corner. Headed out. That's good. That's better defending. It's still there, though. That's headed out as well. Now into Sabanda. He's got room to stretch his legs. He's going to fire that into Milcent, who's going to come back to Sabanda. Oh, I thought he was going to find him. Makoko is still there, though. It's into Rice. Sabozlai. Rice. He comes wide. Oh, Cruz is going to get there. He's going to find Rice as well. Back to him. He's a good ball. And Sabanda gives us another lifeline. It's 4-2. And the deficit is just two goals now. Which we will take into the home leg if it stays this way. And that looks far better than 4-0. I cannot believe we were 4-0 down. But this is a bit of fight. This is what I want to see. And we've really closed the gap. Look at the statistics of this game. It really, really flatters them 4-2, doesn't it? But it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. They were just very good in front of goal. Um, are we going to get another bite of the cherry? And the answer to that is no. Because for a third time... We've just launched it up the pitch, wasting it. But this time, Gomez saves. But I just don't understand why all of a sudden we've started doing that. I haven't changed my tactics. I haven't changed anything about the way we play the game. Here we go. Cruz nicks in. Unfortunately, that's going to come to nothing. I would imagine not much is going to happen with these last kind of 30-odd seconds. They rarely do, but we have to... Still worry, how has he got ahead of you, Alfonso, there? To get that shot off is ridiculous. Can we just have this done? Just get Let's get to the home leg. Well, going into this game, we have a job on our hands. Um, I said I had a good feeling about this episode and we find ourselves um, heavily, heavily down from that first leg. So um, the two goals are going to help, but we really need to get back into this game. And uh, I'm glad that the second leg's at home, to be honest, because our home form is very, very good. But we're going to go Gomez in goal, Reischer and Cruz at fullback, Alfonso Kappa at centre-back, Sabozla and Rice in the midfield, Sabanda and right on the wings, Yaya through the middle, and Makoko will continue up top. And so here we go, gang. It's the home leg. We're 4-2 down. And we need to do something pretty special in this game uh, to remain in the Champions League this season. If we can come back from this, though, going forward in the competition, I think anything is possible. I do firmly, firmly believe that. Um, because it was, it was easy for them in that first leg. Um, yeah, yeah, though. Into Rice. Yeah, yeah, again. Alfonso just found himself in a weird place there. Rice couldn't get the pass off. And that's a great header into Haaland. They're going to break forward on us. We're very much out of position. Oh, he's dodged the tackle. Ball comes in. It's well defended. Ball comes back. I think that's going to be offside anyway. He looked well offside. <sighs> it's going to have to be a bit of a tactical game this one we find ourselves still nil nil at half time we might have to go very very attacking in the second half to try and pull this back good header from Cruz though Alfonso out to Cruz into Sabozlai this is very good it's into Makoko I was so confident that was going to hit the back of the net oh it's wide can't believe it Seven shots already, though. We're not even at the 20-minute mark. We're really going for it in this game. Thought we were going to nick in and win the ball there. Not to be. Comes wide. Still Paris Saint-Germain on the football. Over the top. Alfonso deals with it very well. Kappa, though, what are you doing? Why have... I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. It's 
football manager. Saves it. That's it from the corner. Lovely. Well done, Gomez. We need a game out of you today. None of this stupid stuff that you did last episode. Uh, sorry, last game. Last episode. Um, Kappa. Sabanda runs his man. He does very well to go round him. And I would have preferred him to have put that ball in the box. Right. 25 are gone. I'm going attacking. I just don't give a shit. We're just going to stick these wingers on attack. Stick this up to 100. We've been playing well. We need more. And the game is only 90 minutes long, so we've got to make it happen at some point. And uh, Paris and Shaman now on the ball. Rice nicks in. That's brilliant from Declan Rice. And now Yaya's going to drive at him. He's still going. What a run this is from Yaya. Oh, it deserved a goal. It's a great save from Donnarama. Let's be very honest. That keeper has kept them in this tie. He was so good in the first leg. and He's pulled off a really good save there. Uh, what a run from Yaya. He absolutely blitzed the centre-back, didn't he? And he's not the quickest Yaya. It does have to be said. Still, though, a very good player. What a ball that is, though, out to Doku. He's now going to drive on inside. And it's a really tame shot from him in the end. And he probably should have done more. And he might come to regret that. It's still nil-nil, though. West Ham firmly on top of this game. And... The only worry is it's lots of shots, but no goals at this stage. And I'll probably start to get nervous from half time onwards because I've gone. Oh, I've turned this up to 100 and we're not doing anything. So that is a bit of a worry. A little bit of a worry. 45 minutes. We're at half time and it's still nil nil. That four goals they've scored. Is looking handy. Um, throwing. Down the line. Well dealt with though by Alfonso. Into Nicholas Wright. Who runs past his man. He gallops forward. It's excellent from him. He dribbles past loads of players. A marvellous Sabanda. At the back post. What a run from Nicholas Wright. Who sets up his England teammate. To make it 1-0 on the night. And it's a ball in. And it's Sabanda. He comes wide to Kappa. It's Yaya. It's saved. It's 4-3 on aggregate. And PSG are on the ropes now. Corner comes in. It's headed out. It's well defended. But they're definitely on the ropes in my eyes. Only one more goal. We're back in the tie. It's completely level with that goal. And that's basically where we need to aim next. And then if there's still time, go for that bloody victory. But we've scored. And it's gone a bit quiet. It was a brilliant run, though, from Nicholas Wright. Showing everyone what he can do. He's such an underrated player. £21 million we bought him for. Probably one of the bargains of the entire series. Here, Kappa takes it down. I thought he was going to header it. That's into Sabanda, who rolled his defender for a moment. Yaya with the overlap. Oh, it's brilliant defending. It's so good. That defending is so good. Where's the goal coming from? Come on, we need a goal. We need a goal. We need a goal. Here we go. Cruz. Throw in. Ball coming in. Oh, it's Sabanda. It's straight at the keeper. The highlight continues, though, as he rolls that out to Solahi. He's going to go long, and it's going to be relinquished because Haaland's not beating Raisha to that. And now Cruz into Rice, into Yaya. He's been taken out. Nicholas Wright takes over. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how good we've been, and yet we just can't get that second goal. Twenty-four shots, thirteen on target. XG of three point two nine means we should have three goals. Um, 
I'm actually going to bring Novale on for Rice. I don't know how people feel about this. And I'm going to put him on a Mazala attack. It's just another body a bit further forward. And he'll go out wide as well slightly. So he might help the wingers. That's an unbelievable ball. He's still with us. Is this going to be a goal? I think it might be. I think Sabanda was definitely on side. It's whether or not Makoko was who the ball fell to. Yes! We're back level. I'm not going to make that change now. <laughs> I'm going to leave Declan Rice out there. Um... Very understated celebration for me, but I just had so much that I needed to do. Alfonso, he goes back to the keeper. There's 12 minutes to go. And we still have time. And I'm still on attacking. I've just realised that. But Nicola's right. That's into my Koga! <laughs> the turnaround is complete. It's 5-4. It's 3-0 on the night. This is a phenomenal fight back. Why have we left it so late? They have not got an answer for Nicholas Wright right now. Two assists. He's running the show. Throwing into Yaya. Sabanda back to Raisha. Into Sabozlai. Yaya. Sabozlai. What a ball! Oh! And it's that man, Nicholas Wright, with a full He thoroughly deserves it. And he's probably sealed the deal. I'm going to bring both of the centre mids off and I'm going to bring uh, Mill Cent on as well. Freshen it up a bit. Let's put these both back on support and we'll drop them in and let's just look after this. Let's not be silly, basically. Um, back on positive from attacking and yeah, 4 nil. Nicholas Wright. Take a bloody bow. You have been unreal. Two assists and a goal. What a performance by the winger. Um, two goals from Sabanda as well. Let's not knock him. He's been unreal. 31 shots. Dear Lord. Well headed though from Reese Neal. They come forward. That shot's going to come to nothing. It's a good save from Gomez. And we've got four minutes added on. And this is one of the best performances we've seen in a very long time. And it's not going to be a quarterfinal curse. Oh, it's a nearly a hat-trick for Sabanda. What a save. Instead, we're going to go forward into the semi-finals this time. Yaya through to Milcent. Oh, my God. Nobody see that coming. That's as shocking as us losing 4-2 in the first leg, that. And it's over the top to Milton again. Oh, and he was nearly in. He was nearly in had uh, Donnarama not been so quick off his line. They're, they're, they're definitely on overload. They are. They've thrown everything at it now. Because you can just tell the spaces that have opened up. And this is going to be probably my finest hour. Come on! Thank God. We got through that game and we have beaten Paris Saint-Germain. 4-2 um, down in the first leg. 4-0 victors, though, in the uh, in the home leg. And, yeah, it's just it's just good. It's good stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad with that second leg. I really, really am. Uh, we have drawn Juventus in the semi-finals. That is the team um, we are going to be up against. And that's probably going to be next episode. I think I'm going to skip over this semi-final. I only did the fifth round because I preferred that tie to Tottenham. But I think I'm going to skip over that semi-final. Keep everything crossed that we make it to the final, basically, gang. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I just feel like otherwise I'll be coming back for an episode there. Then an episode there. And then there's going to be potentially two after that. Because we're going to seal the Premier League. And then a potential final if we were to get past Juve. And then there could be another one potential final in the FA Cup. See what I mean? It's a lot of episodes. So let's just skip over that FA Cup, come straight back for the semi-final of the Champions League um, next time. We did play Manchester United, by the way, between games. We won this by two goals to one. We were actually 1-0 up, two minutes later, 1-1, and then 69th minute, Makoko with the goal. And it takes his tally to 23 in the Premier League this season. And it takes his tally to 40 
in all competitions. 40 from 38 starts. What a debut season that is. That is a ridiculous debut season when you think about it. He scored 23 and 25. He's got an XG of 22.3. His actual XG is 35. So an expected goal rate of 35 goals a season. That is mental. Actually mental. His goals per game rate is through the roof, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, we are done. Come back next time. Champions League semi-final. And so there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another uh, episode of the Hall of Fame. I do hope you enjoyed it, my friends. We'll be back, like I say, for that semi-final in the Champions League. Just keep everything crossed that I can beat Manchester City between now and then so that we can potentially win everything. I know, oh, considering what's on the line, maybe I should be playing that semi-final, but I'm just trying to condense the season down. Uh, so come back, my friends, for that next time. But anyway, subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, but I'm saluting you all. Stay safe, stay humble, and I will see you real, real soon. Oh,